Hello everyone. In this video, we learn to find the missing frequency by assume mean method. Here they are in this question, they are saying that the following distribution shows the daily pocket allowance given to children of a multi-story building. The average pocket allowance is rupees 18. This average pocket allowance is nothing but mean. That's why I've written mean is equals to x bar, that is 18, which is given. So first we'll apply mean, assume mean method as usual in the given table. Okay, and then we'll use this given mean. Okay, so this will be equal to let's take the mid values. The mid values 11 plus 13 divided by 2, 28 divided by 2, 14, sorry, 24 divided by 2, which is 12. This way. Yeah, next is 13 plus 15, 28 divided by 2, 14, then 32 divided by 2, 16, then 36 divided by 2, 18. Okay, like that 40 divided by 2, 20. And then your 44 divided by 2, 22, 48 divided by 2, 24. Correct. Now, the center value or the assumed value which I am taking is A as 18. So, let's start because that's the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, that is the exact center. Now, 12 minus 18, 6. 14 minus 18, negative 4. 16 minus 18, negative 2, 0. 20 minus 18, 2. 22 minus 18, 4. 24 minus 18, 6. Let's multiply these two and put it in the next column. Right? So we'll get minus 42, minus 24, minus 18, 0. This 2 and A. The missing frequency, I'm writing it as A. So 2A, 20 and 24. Correct? Now, when you add this, it's minus 84. And when you add this, I'm, I'm writing the two-way down here. Okay. So, this will be a 44. Only these two I've added. Okay. So, a negative 84 and 44 will give me a negative 40. Right? So, I'm going to write that as 2a take up minus negative 40. Correct? Let's add these frequencies. When you add these frequencies, you get 44 plus a. Correct? Now, the mean formula, x bar equal to a plus sigma f di upon sigma f. What is our mean here? 18. So, let's put that. So, 18. Assume mean is also 18. Can we check it? Right? So, x bar was 18. And a is also 18, which I have just again listed it out. Okay, so we don't scroll it again plus a, sorry, 2a minus 40 divided by a plus 44. First, I'm shifting this 18 here. So, 18 minus 18 is 0. That is 2a minus 40 upon a plus 44, right? So, I'll, I'll shift this a plus 44 on the other side. So, that will be a 0 equals to 2a minus 40. Let's shift the 40 on the other side. So, that is a 2a. So, 20 is our A. Right? Clear? Let's take the next question. Again, here the mean of the given distribution is 27. Let's write it below the table so that we are... Oh, sorry. X bar is 27. Right? Now, let's do the part. So, our frequencies are given. Let's... Solve it by assuming method. And the missing frequency, they themselves have missed, listed it out as P. Okay. So, let's do it. Uh, 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 35 and 45. The exact center value is 25. You can see 5. So, therefore, exact center is 25. 5 take away 25 is, sorry, 5 minus 25 is minus 20. 15 minus 25 is 10. 0. 35 minus 25 is 10, 20, 45 minus 10 is 20. So let's multiply these two. So we'll get a minus 160 minus 10p, 0, sorry, 130 and 200. So if you take this, it's a 330. And this is a minus 160. I have to keep the 10p like that. So it's a minus 10p. If I subtract 330 and 160, I'll get a 170. Okay. Now, when I add this, it's P 
plus i'll get a 43 how because 8 plus 12 is 20 20 plus uh, 10 is 30 30 plus 13 is 43 right so let's put it and what's our a here again let's note it down 25 so let's start okay so x bar is equal to a plus sigma f b i upon sigma f so it will be a 27 equals to 25 sorry plus 170 minus 10 p upon p plus 43 let's shift the 25 on the other side so it will give me what 2 that is equals to 170 minus 10 p upon p plus 43 now we need to shift this p plus 43 on the other side right so that will be multiplied that means it's 2 times p plus 43 is equal to 170 minus 10 p right so that will give me 2 p plus 86 is equals to 170 minus 10 p i'm going to shift my 10 p to the left and 86 to the right so 2 p plus 10 p equal to 170 minus 86 12 p is equals to 84 and p equals to 7 because 84 divided by 12 is 7 hope it's clear let's take the next question okay the next question we have two missing frequencies so therefore there are two informations given the sum of frequencies means sigma f is given and the mean is given right so let's list it out down so sigma f is already given as 120 and the mean is given as if i think one minute the other way down yeah 50 mean is given as 50 let's check it 120 and 50 yeah 120 and 50 right so now we'll be doing the normal assume mean method with the given information then we'll go ahead with the next part so here 20 divided by 2 10 60 divided by 2 30 100 divided by 2 50 140 divided by 2 70 180 divided by 2 is 90 sorry not 80 90 now again the center value is a so that's my assume mean method assume mean means a assumed which is a 50 so now let's start now 10 minus 50 minus 40 30 minus 50 minus 20 0 70 minus 50 20 90 minus 50 40 so let's multiply these so i'll get a minus 340 no sorry mistake minus 680 okay minus 2 f1 20 f1 0 plus 20 f2 and this will be a 760 okay so here what we are going to write is 20 f2 minus 20 f1 plus 80 okay and we'll add this up so this will turn out to be a 63 plus f1 plus f2 right now this 63 plus f1 plus f2 is sigma f and already my sigma f is given as 120 correct so we'll say sigma f is given as 63 plus f1 plus f2 from the table so already given value is 120 which is 63 plus f1 plus f2 right so i'll get my first equation f1 plus f2 is equal to 120 minus 63 which is a 52 okay now we'll try to find the next equation using the mean formula a plus sigma f di upon sigma f a is 50 sorry x bar is 50 a is also 50 yeah plus this is 80 minus 20 f1 or let me write it the other way around sorry let's go up yeah 20 f2 minus 20 f1 okay 
and the whole divide by I'm taking 120 because I am being given 120. Okay, so this 50 will go there. So it's subtraction. So 0 equals to 20F2 minus 20F1 plus 80 divide by 120. Right? Now still if you push this 120, there is going to get multiplied and it's a 0, right? So 0 is equals to 20F2 minus 20F1 plus 80. Now I'm going to shift the 20F2 and F1 on the left side. So this plus, my, oh, sorry, the minus will become a plus. So 20F1 and this is a plus which will go that side. So it becomes a 20F2. Which is equals to 80 divided by 20. So F1 minus F2 is equals to 4. So we got two equations, right? F1 plus F2 equals 52 and F1 minus F2 equals to 4. So we'll solve it by elimination method. So we'll say add 1 and 2. So F1 plus F2 is 52. F1 minus F2 is 4. The F2 gets cancelled off. 2F1 is equals to 56. So F1 is equals to 28. Let's use it into the next one. Like F1 plus F2 is equals to 52. So 28 plus F2 is equals to 52. F2 is equals to 52 minus 28. So F2 is 24. Right? So what we are doing, we are using two formulas. One, we are getting two equations. How? One from the mean, which is all, sorry, one from the total frequency, which is already given, and the total frequency that we get from the table. Right? And the next is using the formula of the mean. We are getting the second equation. Elimination method, and you get your answer. Right? I have taken some extra questions for practice. Now, in the third and the fourth questions, you need to do the same thing. Now, if you see here, the total frequency is given to be a 50, right? And you find the total frequency from the table. So, 50 equals to F1 plus F2 plus the total frequency. That will give you the first equation. In the second equation, you will use the mean. Right? Similarly, in the fourth question, your total frequency is given as 100. So, 100 is equals to add this frequency from the table. Okay, that will be the first equation and then use the mean. Right? This is the mean. This is the mean and this is the sigma f. Again, this is sigma f, this is mean. In this question, this is your mean. Right? And here is the mean for the first question. Hope it is clear. Thank you.